Hey guys, this is David, and um, here I wanted to do a quick training video with you. Uh, so what I did is um, I called James Gonzalez, and James works very closely with me in my office. James, are you there? I'm here. Okay, great. So we're doing a Skype call for you guys this morning, and uh, the Skype. The reason for the Skype call is we just got a new lead in, and so what I want to do is I want to have James take us through the process and basically show us how we do some upfront research on a new lead and make sure that we're getting the information about the property that we need and make sure we understand upfront what we're looking at rather than go spend time looking at the property, meeting with the owner, and really not know what the full background uh, is of the property. So this particular property that we're dealing with is on uh, a street called Bermuda Palm. And so what James is going to do, and James is our um, licensed realtor that works in our office and he um, works with the buyers and works with the sellers, um, handles showings, does a lot of our upfront research for us. And so, you know, as you guys grow, you probably want someone in your business to be doing the same type of thing for you. So what James is going to show um, on this call is basically how you can get in and do some title research on a property. So we got this lead on uh, Bermuda Palm and what we want to find out is a little information about the property um, as much as we can up front. So we're going to look at the tax records and then we're also going to do what's called a land data search. And a land data search is basically um, a, a background or running a background check on the property, uh, finding out uh, what kind of liens or judgments are on the property. Um, a lot of that will be listed in your land data report um, and it's very similar to the information that you're going to get by running, you know, opening title at one of your local title companies. And so um, you can still open title, you can still have them do further research, but this at least allows you to have a snapshot and know up front some information about the property. So um, James, if you could start us off and just take us from the beginning, you know, how you find land data. I just want, we're going to do a quick Google search just so you can pull up how we find um, the you know the website that controls our area. So why don't you take it from there, James? Okay, thanks, Dave. Um, I had Googled this already, so I'm just going to Google it again. So what I did was instead of just specifying land data, I put the county. And separated it, so it, it popped up right here. So this is our county clerk's office. Um, what you'd like to do is go in and register right here. So when you register, it'll uh, you put in your email, your information, um, and then they give you your password. It's it's free to do it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and log in. I'm already registered. And Land so, Data is a huge network. I mean, they have information for uh, states and counties all across the country. So basically, you just have to go in, pick your county that you're working in, and then search the data just like we're doing in our county here. Now, <clears throat> we know uh, we have our address. So what I went and did is I went to the Bear County Appraisal District. When you go here, you hit property search and we'll go ahead and use the property address. Uh, one zero zero one four, and usually what I do is I just put the beginning of a of a street. So instead of Bermuda Palm, I just entered Bermuda, and what it did was it just brought it up for me. So here's the details that we need. We'll go in and view these. And this is the information that you want to look at, look for or look at right here, where it shows you your your county block, the block number, the lot number, your subdivision. So we're going to jump back to the Bear County clerks. You want to go here, right here at land info. Mm -hmm. Now this is this is where your lot and your block number become important. We'll go ahead and enter the lot, which is 37, the block, which is 87, and you can see where I did that right here. And what I did, you don't want your new city block. You want your county block, which is right here, 43328. And so 
down here, you hit search. And it'll take a little time. The first time I did this, it didn't bring up the county block. Just like this, your search return, no re records. So we're going to go and modify it. What I did, <clears throat> it should work, but it, for some reason it didn't. I went back and I put the subdivision, which is sunset. If you overload it with too much information, then you won't have any, uh, any room to deduct it. Do, 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 do. But this is good. This is perfect for, you know, if you want to make sure that the, you know, sometimes when people fall behind on payments, um, you know, they might have fallen behind on their HOA dues. So there may be HOA liens, there may be contractor liens, there may be any number of things that come up on the title report. And you just want to make sure that, you know, that's not the case. Really, the only thing that you um, want on that title report, you know, the best case scenario is just the mortgage, um, you know, without any other uh, encumbrances or liens clouding the title. Oh, David, we're having some technical difficulties. It pulled it up pretty quick for you before, didn't it? Yeah, yeah, it popped right up. Let me see if I can hurry it up, try and go back. See if this works. Okay, <clears throat> I'll run through this real quick. Here we go. Perfect. Now, it's just so that we don't, um, so the video is not uh, too long here and people get what we're looking for. If you look at this, you can basically see the transfer of title as you go through each situation. So, <clears throat> you know, right there at the beginning, the city of San, this, this uh, property based on the Bear County tax records was only built in 2005. And so you can see here um, it was owned by the city of San Antonio at one time. And then the city of San Antonio sold it. Um, looks like it uh, was sold to the builder, um, KB Homes. And then KB sold it to Claudia Castro. And then Claudia owned it for a little while. And then Claudia sold it to Juan Hernandez, which is our seller. And then Juan Hernandez got a mortgage on the property. And so that's where we sit right now. So James, would you open up the um, information where Juan Hernandez got his mortgage and just show us what kind of records you see there um, so we can give an example of what you might be looking for? Sure. And this is actually a pretty in-depth search, isn't it, James? I mean, this is this is where the um, title companies and everything start their searches is with land data, right? So right. it's pretty it's a pretty thorough search. So if you don't see if something doesn't pop up here on the land data search, you got a pretty good chance if you open title uh, that it's not gonna you're not gonna have something pop up there as well. Here we go. Here's the deed of trust. Perfect. So. Oh. And what I did, what I did was uh, try and save it. Here's a save button. It's kind of hiding. If you extend your your window, your screen, you'll be able to save it. So I just saved it to my to my desktop, and that way we can we can go in and read it. This is your extreme close up? Perfect. So you're gonna hear the the documents that are recorded are the warranty, general warranty deed, or warranty deed, the deed of trust. Um, any type of, of liens that might have been filed on the property. So as you scroll through and you do your research here, 
um, basically you can understand if there's anything else encumbering the property besides just the main mortgage that's in place and if it is then you know when you go and you visit with the homeowner then you can ask you know has this been cleared up maybe you know if it's a past debt that was cleared up then you know there should be some sort of release of lien um, and you just that starts the process so that you know if you're going to have a lot of um, tracking down and paperwork to find or if it's going to be you know pretty quick and simple for you so um, two things two resources that you need one is the local county appraisal uh, county appraisal district so basically um, appraising the tax values of the property that you're looking at so in our particular area we live in Bear County so ours is BCAD or Bear County Appraisal District dot org um, there you can find information like um, square footage of the house the legal description which the legal description becomes very important at some point in time um, you know it'll tell you um, lots of different uh, important information about that and then also the second resource that you need is the ability to pull the land data report for your particular county and if you can pull that land data and again that's landdata.com um, and just search if you're gonna do a search just put in the name of your county so like James did Bear County land data and it'll pull up uh, the specific site for your county and then you can go in and you can do this research and you'll search the basically search the deed history um, to make sure that again that there are no uh, additional encumbrances or things that might cloud the title besides your main uh, mortgage that you're dealing with so um, I know this will be helpful for you go out and use these two resources hey James thanks for coming on and helping us shoot this video and walking us through that you got it and Thank you. and uh, we'll see you guys on the next video talk to you soon